Ahoy there! I be Michael, your balloon twister, and this time I want to teach you how to make a pirate cap out of balloons. It only uses four balloons, and it's easy. Any swashbuckler can make it. Let me show you how. I hope you weren't expecting me to talk like that through the whole video. For this design, you'll need four balloons. Three black 260s and one red 160. You can use a red 260, I just like the 160 size. We're going to start with our black 260. Inflate it all the way, but leave a three inch tail. Let a little air out and tie. Give the balloon a good squeeze and a stretch. We're going to make the base of the hat first. So we're going to go over, for me, about 12 inches, but sizes may vary. This is going to be the part that goes against my head. I follow that up with a one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, and twist it. Next, I'm gonna give the balloon another squeeze because I want this to be soft, and a stretch. I'm gonna twist a section about two inches long. Then I'm gonna twist a long section to where it starts to bow. Once again, I want this to be soft. Give it a nice good squeeze. So you can see how much longer that is. That's about four inches longer, maybe three. I'm gonna twist another bubble. The same size as this one right here. And I'm going to twist this seam here into this knot here. Now we need one more one inch bubble pinch twist. So give the balloon a squeeze to make sure it doesn't pop on us. We're going to twist a one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, and twist it. And there we have the front of our cap. We're not going to break this part off yet because we're going to save that for later. Now that we have the front of our cap made, we need to make the sides. So we're going to use one of our black 260s to make each side. Inflate it almost all the way, but leave about a three inch tail. Let some air out and tie. Make sure you give it a good squeeze and a stretch. Just like before, we want to make a section. Mine's a little over 12 inches. That's going to be the part that goes along the side and meets at the back of our head. Follow that up with a one inch bubble pinch twist, just like before. One inch bubble. Fold it over, pinch it, pull it, twist it. Give the balloon another squeeze and a stretch because it's important it's soft. We're gonna make another section just like we did on the front of the hat, that two inch bubble. But instead of going over and making a stretch part with another two inch bubble, we're gonna give it a little bit of space and have it meet right here at the knot. Wherever this meets right here at the knot, that's where we're gonna twist it. So you can see this makes a very short triangle. Twist this seam here into this knot here. Follow that up with a one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it and twist it. And this is the side of our hat, but we need to make another one just like that. So with your last black 260, inflate it almost all the way, but leave that three inch tail there at the end. Let some out and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. And just like we did before, make the long section to go on the side. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. Give it a squeeze and a stretch, because we want it soft. Go up about two inches, fold it over, where it meets here at the knot, twist the seam there, twist the knot into that seam. Do another one inch bubble pinch twist. One inch bubble, fold it over, pull it, pinch it, twist it. And now we have the last part of our hat. So now you should have two of these. We're gonna attach them right here where the two pinch twists here are at the end by twisting them together. We don't need these two pieces so we can break them off. Go ahead and take the slack and wrap them around a couple of times just to get them cleaned up and out of the way. There we go. And there we have the two sides and the back of our cap. So get the front of your cap. So you'll notice the front of our cap has two pinch twists, one on each side. We're gonna attach each one of those onto one of the pinch twists of our cap. It doesn't really matter which pinch twist goes to which side because it's symmetrical. This part here we don't need, so we can break it off. Take that little bit and wrap it around a couple of times and tuck it up inside so you don't see it anymore. So you should have something that looks like this. And as you can see, that's already looking really cool, but we're gonna make a little bit of an improvement. We're gonna take the two seams here, where this small bubble and this small bubble meet. We're gonna line them 
and we're going to twist those two bubbles together. They don't have to be twisted together very much, and we do the same with the other ones. That gives us this really cool tri-corner hat look. Only thing left to do is to shape the top of our hat. What I like to do is I give it a little bend down, gentle massage at the corner to give it a small bend there. I do the same thing over on the other side, and then I gently massage up the middle. And this can take a little bit of time to fuss with. And I think that makes it look more pirate-like, don't you? Now we wanna go around to the back of our hat. Hold it like this with the back at the bottom. Grab one side and the other. I have the top in my left hand and the bottom in my right hand. I'm gonna move the top up. What this will do is it'll push the front part of the hat forward. And there we go, we have our tri-corner hat. Isn't that cool? But we need one more thing. Get your red 160 and inflate it all the way. Whew. Let a little air out and tie. Give it a good squeeze and a stretch. Take the two ends together and pull it taut so you can find the middle. When you get to the middle, go ahead and twist it. If it's not perfectly in the middle, that's okay. Now get your hat. I'm gonna twist this seam here of the red into one of the pinch twists on the front of the hat. Once again, which side is up to you. Once you have that done, go ahead and candy cane it. Just make sure you make it long enough to reach over to the other side of the pinch twist and then twist it. Once you have it twisted, twist that seam here into this pinch twist right here on the opposite side of the hat. So you can see it runs the length of the front of the hat. This makes the red part look like a bandana that you're wearing under your hat. Last things, shape the red parts. I like to take them together, give it a little bit of a bend, and there I have the rest of my bandana hanging out at the end of the hat. And I'm good to go. And I'm done with my pirate hat. Doesn't this thing look cool? Now we'd be ready to pillage and plunder. Well, that's it for this video, guys. If you liked it, click that thumbs up button. And if you want more balloon animal lessons, click that red subscribe button down below. This way you'll be notified when I make a new video and you won't miss anything. And I'll see you back here next Monday with a brand new balloon animal lesson. I be Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, anything can be made out of balloons, even a pirate hat. Arr. It's recording. I should do something.